Guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be revisiting the motorized scooter and we'll be completely revamping it and making it just epic. We have a new frame we're going to be putting the engine on, so this is going to be an awesome project I'm looking forward to. And I do got to say, guys, over the past few weeks, I've gained some of the most subscribers I've ever seen so far. So, guys, thank you to all my subscribers out there. Really amazing I'm able to do this, and um, I highly appreciate y'all subscribing. These are going to be the type of videos I would upload on something like a weekly basis so, so thanks for coming along guys and we're gonna have to get right into this project Finally guys, our rear wheel is off and now we got to figure out how we want the engine to sit. So yeah, this is our old scooter we built. I really don't like it, so... Well, here's the OG scooter we built. Here's that little 79cc Predator. And I haven't ran it in quite some time. I'm actually not really sure if I want to even use this scooter because this scooter I built it is pretty nice but it is the frame is a little bit crooked that scooter is going to be a little bit better so i'll ha probably have to just use this one and i think it looked way cooler actually pretty satisfied with where the engine is it's gonna be offset and as far back as possible and um, we're probably gonna have to curve the seat back so but I think we're gonna have to call it for this night we got off pretty late today so we weren't able to do as much uh, I guess I'll have to catch y'all guys in the next day well it's the next day and um, so I was thinking of how I could get this big 420 sprocket mounted to this uh, the three small holes basically what I decided to do I just put the sprocket on top of this sprocket so it's basically like a hub I drilled out the holes it should be centered we can screw it in like that and it's gonna be pretty solid or we can flip it around for clearance and just screw it in like that so um, all these holes match up and I could just um, space it out or put some washers around it if I need to so I'm gonna do that, put it back on and we got our sprocket fully mounted. I checked it and I'm actually pretty surprised with how true it is. So I'm um, pretty happy with that. So far I've tested everything and everything seems to fit pretty good. So I've actually cut out an engine mount plate that fits perfectly. I believe there's going to be plenty of clearance with this, so, so I'll go ahead and tack this on and we'll see how it is from there. Wow, this thing really wells nice after I replace that little liner thing. Let's see, we'll probably do a few more tacks and then start putting the engine on the chain that is very nice got our engine right here really worried about the chain kind of putting a huge strain on the motor because it is very heavy and fat same thing with the sprocket and the clutch 
but I really just had these parts laying around so um, I'm not gonna order more parts or anything like that if it runs good and doesn't like snap or derail then it should be fine okay there's the chain that originally came on it it's probably like a 15 pitch I don't even know here's a bicycle chain here is a 35 chain commonly used on go-karts and here's the 420 chain would you look at how huge that is this thing is like this chain is pretty much a standard on most dirt bikes um, under like 150 cc's so um, yeah let's use our chain breaker and cut this chain up and we should be good to go perfect engine alignment Ta -da! This little design right here allows us basically to tighten the rear wheel, push it back more. Awesome design, I love it. Pretty much what you find on any street bikes, dirt bikes. They have this, this little tensioner pretty much. That's pretty much just gonna eliminate the need for us to run a chain tensioner. I'm gonna go ahead and mark the holes here with my Sharpie and then I'm gonna go ahead and drill them out and we should be in business. Well guys, finally we have pretty much finished this thing together. Definitely going to have to figure out a solution for the floorboard and the seat. I think we did a really good job today on this on this build. Um, it looks nice. I mean it's obviously not finished. We'll probably be finishing it all off in the next few episodes. And hopefully we'll paint it some really cool color. If you'll have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. Even though it's kind of dark and my neighbors are probably going to complain, I'm going to give you some footage of it because I really want this video up on my channel ASAP because I haven't really uploaded in a while so I'll just go ahead and write it quickly and show you that it works and after that I'll be finishing it in the part 2. Okay guys, this is going to be my first time starting this bike in quite some time. This thing hauls butt. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, Y'all are gonna have to wait till the next episode because, I mean, I, I was going downhill. I probably hit like 30. Man, as soon as that clutch stopped engaging, the engine just went into its power band, and you know, I feel like I feel like it could go 25, 30, pretty easily. This gearing is pretty good. You know, not too torquey. Would be perfect for something like a park or like a camping trip or something. Let me show you something, guys. This will blow your mind. Not only is the scooter super compact, 
and super fast. Check this out. Did you see that? This thing folds up like a suitcase. We could, you could, I mean, we could fit this anything. We could probably even take it to the airport. So the fact that this folds is really nice. We're going to have to um, come up with a seat idea that we're able to fold up too. So I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up off camera and wrap this video up. And be sure you stay till the end because i got a few announcements to make. I feel like they're pretty important, so be sure not to miss them, guys. Whew. Okay, now for the important announcements. We'll start with the scooter first and move our way up. So I'm really satisfied with how the scooter turned out. I'm really satisfied with the progress for today. Yeah, pretty soon here we're going full time. I'm really excited, guys. But with that said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all um, somehow made it to the end. If y'all did, I highly do appreciate it. Leave a like if y'all enjoyed this video. So I guess I'll see you in whatever video I decide to upload next. Have a good one. Peace.